Hello everybody, this is Tayamare and today I show you what are my main electric tools for building ship models and what, in my opinion, the buying priority for each of them would be and at which stage of our ship modeling career we should think of buying them. Remember to activate the subtitles for further information and stick to the end of the video for a brief analysis on buying priority.
assuming that we have just started building models and we want to learn by first buying a wooden kit model since you really want to learn and to be able to scratch building anything you like there is no need for buying all of the tools for scratch building altogether for two reasons mainly first we don't really know what we need the tool for and maybe even how to use it or if there is any workaround for building a specific piece and second is that tool really saving us time or money in what we are doing this is the timeline of my career in model ship building which i guess is the same for most modelers i started building my very first super easy model with just a small investment in tools like a rotary tool and that's all what i needed to have a fairly good finished model other models kits might require another small investment in tool both for the model clearly and for the tools like a disc sander to have a good finished product in a reasonable time kit bashing and scratch building require the highest investment in tools since you need to make most or all of the pieces yourself. But you can save money on the kit in the long run. This means that each tool would have a buying priority based on the objective of being able of totally or mostly scratch building our models. So, based on these thoughts, this is a list of what the usefulness in terms of number of worked pieces you could do with it and the time saved level for each tool on every ship modeling type would be. This allows to assign points to each level of usefulness and time saved to have an overall buying priority along our ship modeler career. This more or less reflects the order in which I bought my first and latest tools as well. There are clearly more variables that can affect buying priority and other even subjective factors that come into play. But this is just to give you a broad idea of what you can expect if you're just starting in the model ship building world. Thanks for sticking to this point of the video, I hope you liked it, if you did please hit the subscribe button and see you in the next video. Bye!